Hey y'all, my name is Zach Bennett and I'm going to tell you about a really neat biomechanics concept that finds its application in golf. Now the stretch shorten cycle is a concept about your muscles, but what it is is exactly how it sounds. When you stretch a muscle and then quickly follow it with a shortening, you can create a lot more force than when you just shorten alone. In other words, an eccentric contraction quickly followed by a concentric contraction creates way more force than just a purely concentric contraction. Now in golf, there's what's called a backswing before you go to hit the golf ball. Nobody hits the golf ball with the club just sitting on the ground. Everybody takes a backswing and then they go to hit the golf ball. And what that does, what that backswing is, is you effectively stretching your golf muscles before you go to contract them really hard to hit the golf ball. Uh, your core, your back, your rotator cuff, those are all really important muscles used to hit powerful golf shots. And the backswing stretches those out to let you contract them really hard. Now there's a few reasons why the stretch shorten cycle works in the first place. The first of these is the stretch reflex. Now when you stretch your muscles, the mechanoreceptors like the muscle spindle and the Golgi tendon organ, they detect this change in length and they tell your brain to, to contract them in order to resist this change in length. Now in order to effectively use the stretch reflex, the stretch phase cannot last longer than six seconds. If it does, you will go into what's known as autogenic inhibition, and your muscles will stretch even further after they've been held in a prolonged stretching position. You'll never see a golf swing, a golf backswing last longer than six seconds, so we're good there. We don't have to worry about that. The second of these reasons is called taking up the slack. And electromechanically in your brain, your neurons have already begun to fire when you do that stretch phase. So there's no delay in the time that you tell your muscles to contract and the time they actually do contract and that three-tenths of a second of a reaction time is thus eliminated because your neurons are already fired. And this allows your muscles to accelerate much faster than they normally would. The third of these reasons has to do with a intrinsic property, an intrinsic, intrinsic property of muscle tissue known as elasticity. And what elasticity is, is when you stretch something out and let that stretch go, it's gonna return back to its normal shape. Just like when you stretch a rubber band out, and then let the stretch go, the rubber band's gonna return back to how it initially looked. Muscle tissue has the same property and will behave the same way. When you stretch your muscle tissue out, you're creating what is known as strain energy. Strain energy is potential energy that can be used as kinetic when that stretch is let go and that rebound happens. That's the kinetic energy that was once strain energy. So when you take that backswing, you're stretching those golf muscles out, creating strain energy, and then transferring it into kinetic when you, go to, when you go to do the downswing and contract those muscles. So I'm gonna demonstrate this for you guys. I'm gonna show you how far I can hit the golf ball when I'm not using a backswing, and how far I can hit it when I do use a backswing. So this is no backswing here. I'm not gonna use the stretch shorten cycle, and I'll show you how far I can hit the golf ball. That's, that's about as far as I can hit it with no backswing. So now, I'm gonna use the stretch shorten cycle to get that stretch reflex going. I'm gonna use that strain energy. I'm gonna take up the slack. I'm gonna be able to hit this golf ball way further than I just hit the first one. So that golf ball went a lot further than the first one, as you obviously saw, and that's because I used that stretch shorten cycle. Thanks guys for the time. I appreciate it. Y'all have a good one.